So in this video, we want to talk about pages or basically routes. Let's go back to our project and open web.php where our routes are sitting. So we did this in the previous video, but to go over it, basically we have our route class, which is part of Laravel, and then we are specifying the HTTP method so in this case it's get. We are passing down the URI and then the handler function. The only difference between this one and a typical Laravel route is this inertia render function. Since we are returning a view component and not a blade component, we use inertia and behind the scenes inertia will take care of everything so it would return a view component so we get all the functionality of Laravel and PHP but at the same time we get the SPA features of Vue.js or React.js, for example. Now let's create another route just for practice. So I'm gonna copy paste that one and change this to forward slash about. Now, instead of this inertia render, there is also a helper function and that is just inertia. So this is the same as using this render function up here. Now, of course, we want to pass another view in here. So let's call it about and let's create it inside our pages folder under JS. So about.view and again, let's just have a simple template that that says about page. All right, now let's go back to our website. And if we go to forward slash about, we see that text. Now let's see how we can send data to our view components. So again, with Laravel, we would use the view function. And then as a second argument, we would pass an array of data. Now with inertia function or render function up here is the same. The first argument is the view. The second argument is going to be an array of props. So since we are working with view components, they call it props. So let's say for the about page, I want to have a user as a key and the value for it is going to be Mike. Now again, you notice this is exactly like Laravel. The only difference is this function. So let's go back to our view component and now we want to accept that prop in our component. So we can use the script setup here. And if you're not familiar with Vue.js, especially this script setup, I have a video which is linked in the description and you can watch that one. But basically we want to accept that user as a prop. So we want to use the define props here and accept that user and set the type to string. So now we can grab it in our template, just like that. Going back to the about page, you can see the name of that user which is coming from our routes. Now, sometimes you don't have much functionality, so you don't really need a controller or a callback function. So there is a shorthand for all of this, much like there is with Laravel. So instead of using the HTTP method get here, we can use inertia on the route class itself. And then I'm going to cut this part from inertia function and get rid of this function all at once, then paste those here. So first we are passing the URI, which is forward slash about, then the component, then the data. So this should work the same way as this function up here. So going back to our website, we see the same thing. And if we go to the homepage, we see only that hello text. So we will get to other HTTP methods later on, like a post method when we create the four. But for now, this is how we can create route. And it is almost exactly like Laravel. The only difference is this function and the component that we are returning. So in the next video, we want to create a layout file that would be shared among all the other pages.